Good surprise. to see you. We'll sit down. Can I offer you water or tea or something? Oh, I could really use it. Of the... Tea's fine. Tea's Do you still take sugar? I do. See, so you do too. Huh. I cannot believe you still have this. Oh, my sissy. Oh, you were a big old pretty baby. I think this was your birthday. Just turned two. I used to set you under that willow tree and dress you up like you were my own little personal doll. I used to love that tree. Mama never liked it though. She said it grew too fast and had wild roots. She was right. I had to cut it down. I noticed. Tea's ready. You still have granny spoons. Oh my goodness. You know, when I was little, I thought these things were so pretty. Oh, look at that. I thought they'd make us rich one day. Must have been disappointing when you realize that pretty don't make you worth something. Well, you've uh, you've kept the house up nicely. Somebody had to. Why don't you just say what you want to say? What are you doing here? Tuvo quoi? I wanted to see you. Oh, you wanted to see me? It's been seven years, Dorothy. There's a lot to see. You sure you've got time? Katie, can we please just try and try just have... what? Try and pretend like you didn't leave me at the hardest time of my life. Your life. Who else was going to take care of this house? After Mama died? What was I supposed to do? Lose everything that they worked for? Oh, you want to see? I'm a teacher now. Just like Mama. I even marched for desegregation. Oh, and best of all, I've got a good husband who loves me like I am. Worth something. That's enough. You know what? You are just like mom. I ain't never been quite good enough for you either. I never said that. You just did. You know how daddy died. What? What does that have to do with anything? Katie, please. He got into an argument with Jack Harris. And Jack shot him. You know why they were arguing? Because he touched you. Mama told you? Of course she did. She used to be so proud of me. I was a good girl. Good around the house. Good in school. 
She said, I took good care of you. You done real good, daddy, real good. And suddenly, I wasn't good anymore. Every time she looked at me, I felt. Is that why you started working at that place? That place? Her name too sinful to say. Miss Fanny's house. Dorothy, you're the smartest woman I know. Got a better head for figures than anybody. You could have did anything with your life. You always wanted to be a dressmaker. I am a dressmaker. For a whole house? Catherine Lucille Calloway. You Harding. Catherine Lucille Harding. For a God-fearing woman, you sure got a lot of judgment. You ain't much different from those women. You just lucky enough to get a ring on your finger. They treated me like family. And how did you treat me? Ain't no family. You forgot about me. It's James. So look at this. I got you. There must be something special going on. Dorothy? Uh, James, this is my sister Dorothy. Dorothy is my husband, James Harding. Call me JT. Pleasure to meet you. Heard a lot about you. I wish I could say the same. I mean, I'm sure you know my sister and I haven't talked in a while. Yes, I know. Is everything okay, baby? Everything is fine. We were just having some tea. Um, Manny stopped by. I brought the books you were looking for. There, I put them on your desk. Oh, okay. Well, I was waiting on those. Well, I'll leave you two to chat. Oh, and Dorothy, uh, you're going to be staying for a while. How about we take you out to dinner tonight? That's not necessary. Thank you. Well, you got to eat, don't you? <laughs> Sis, me and Roger sure did look good tonight, didn't we? Oh, I bet she says a little thing for you. Sam Rogers got a little thing for everybody. Oh my God! <laughs> 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 what you say? Oh, I know, I know. And Mr. Harden. Mm -hmm. I know your daddy. Daddy. What? <laughs> you know that? That's the best barbecue I've had. I think, uh, I think Sam should check out your little mouth for that. Miss Fanny always said, if it's good supply, the cost is high. <laughs> <laughs> what did you mean by that? Well, he got better than 75 cent barbecue. I mean, I got eyes all over this town, Mr. Howard. And apples don't fall too far. You better treat my little sister right. Donna. James cannot treat me any better. Emily, you going up to bed. I'm going to bed. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. You done real good.
So how long did she work, Miss Fanny? About 12, 13 years. Making dresses and doing her books. Oh, so she wasn't... No, no. At least I don't think so. Okay. Baby, listen. I know about my father. Who didn't? Whatever he was and whatever he did, that was between him and my mama. I'm not him. I know, sweetie. I know. Well, you know Manny going to New York next month. You think she'd like to come and work with me and Melvin? No. She'll be gone in the morning. Baby, don't think like that. This time it might be different. No. No, it won't. Hey, great morning. It's a little early for you today, ain't it? Shoot, when you my age, you can sleep when you dead. It's your age. Get out of here. I'm older than you are. <laughs> That's true. Look That's at true. here. I came by because I was wondering if you happen to notice that pretty new flower you have in your yard. She been sitting out there for hours. I thought she left. Come sit with me. You know, I, I think I like this old tree so much because it, it had a sadness that I could relate to. Like we were the same. When I come up yesterday and saw it was gone, I knew it was time. Time for what? To let go of the sadness. I was scared. My mama died. You were all I had left. But I didn't think about what you went through. Our daddy's death was not your fault. This is your house. You have earned your right to have your say with it. You can stay forever. This is our house. You can stay forever if you want. <laughs> Although I do think Sam Rogers will come calling if you do. <laughs> Let me tell you. Like a, a movie star now. <laughs> I 
if that Sam Rogers come calling, I ain't here. <laughs> that man got three kids and I ain't nobody's mama. <laughs> I think you'd be a real good one, though. Hey, let's plant us a new tree. The one with big tall <laughs> shade and the roots can go straight down. I'm so sorry. I stopped taking care of you. Oh. I love you, darling. I love you, too. <gasps> I want to hear all about your new life, Mrs. Harding. <laughs> well. Well, okay. <laughs> there is a lot to see. Good thing I got time. <laughs> oh, that. You, you use my table. <laughs> well, I had to use something. Oh, oh. Come on. <laughs> now, you know they say these things are bad for you. Sissy, you want me to give up sadness and cigarettes on the same day? More than it is. Mama always wanted to go find the other half of her roots. I got a lot to tell you. Oh, oh. <laughs>